Blind from birth, Johnny Mashupeng sets out from his family's home in Soweto to visit his father imprisoned on Robben Island. Accompanied by his future wife Ellen, on this his second trip to the island, the prime purpose of this visit is to introduce Ellen to his father and obtain his blessing for their wedding. To assist families of prisoners serving sentences and to help those released from prison become re-established, the South African Council of Churches provides subsistence grants and, where applicable, financial aid for schooling. Intimidated by unknown procedures and visits to their homes by security police, in the past many rural families would not consider a visit to relatives on Robben Island. Encouraged by counselling and home visits from dependence conference workers, visits from these families to relatives isolated for many years on the island are now successfully facilitated. In the warm company of fellow relatives of prisoners held on Robben Island, after their tiring 30-hour train journey to Cape Town, Johnny and Ellen relax and enjoy the evening meal at Cowley House. Yeah, uh, well, just... Made available to the South African Council of Churches in June 1979, Cowley House provides accommodation for 17 visitors at a time and allows the visits to the island to be facilitated in an efficient and organized manner. From April 1980 to March 1981, 414 visitors were accommodated at Cowley House. After serving their sentence on Robben Island, many political prisoners, upon release, are banished to remote areas in the Bantustans. Relocation threats to families of political prisoners, living and working legally in urban areas, are becoming increasingly apparent. Recently, the parents of three members of the Soweto Students' Representative Council, imprisoned on Robben Island, were told to begin building homes in the Bantustans in preparation for the release of their children. <laughs> <laughs> 